Alright, hello and welcome back to another video. Now, today I'm playing the uh, T80 UK as recently, or somewhat recently, requested uh, by a viewer of mine. Now, uh, the T80 UK is uh, quite a strong tank. It's got a uh, really strong reload. It's got, surprisingly enough, uh, strong armor there. Very big skill issue right there. I should have been able to uh, shoot him a bit earlier. Oh, that's not good. Luckily, we were able to uh, 50 cal him there. Yeah, I guess today is the day of skill issues. Uh, admittedly, I should have been able to deal with these tanks here a bit uh, a bit easier, but hey, we're still alive, and that's all that matters, right? So we have a bit of a 10 second repair left on our engine here. Then we'll go capture the zone, and then we'll see uh, whoever else shows up. All right, well, it sounds like there is actually another tank here around this corner. Yep, there is. There is a CV-90-105 watching around this corner. So I guess in the meantime, when we wait for him to do something, I can uh, talk to you guys about uh, this tank here. So the TDUK is basically a T-80, but it's got uh, laser warning receivers and uh, active protection system, although that's not really important because it doesn't really do much. Uh, it does get a couple more uh, smoke grenades in its arsenal. And also, it looks like I'm getting flanked from both sides right now so I'm gonna quickly move up here sadly that guy did get my track I'm gonna unsuccessfully turn my tank around here but uh yeah hopefully he uh will just push me thinking I'm not looking at him of course now he's got into the point which uh can be a good or bad thing I guess depending on how you see it because on the one hand it means that um we'll be able to uh yeah, recapture the point if we deal with the tanks on here. Thankfully, this tank, there's two tanks right here right now. There's one on the cap and one to the left of me. Uh, let's see where each, uh, every one of them is. Um, we see one. Well, okay, well, that's a bit of an unfortunate shot. Was I just shot from behind there? No, I wasn't. There we go. I don't know how I've survived this many shots, but uh, we're alive. And that is actually even surprising for me. I didn't quite expect this, but uh, yeah, here we are. Um, we definitely hear another tank here right now. Uh, I don't know what it is. It sounded like a leopard, like a leopard one or something. Of course, I could be wrong. But I guess it doesn't really matter because now we'll just go back to capture the point, get ourselves a couple extra spawn points, and uh, yeah, that'll be that. Alright, well now since we've captured the zone, I'm going to uh, get out of here as soon as possible because of course everyone knows that I'm here. I'm going to try and sort of go up there and uh, hopefully be able to ambush a couple people who uh, try and go to the C point. There we go, we hear someone to our right now. It sounds like a Leopard 2 or something. Uh, or maybe with that Swedish uh, AA. Also sounds like there's another tank here to my left as well, so we do have to pay attention to that. Yep, that guy's looking right at me, and uh, I was correct. It was that Swedish SBA thing. It wasn't a Leopard 2. Of course, they are on the same chassis, but uh, they are different tanks. What I might try and do here is uh, do a bit of a wide maneuver and just try and engage that thing from a bit of a unique angle, you could say. Of course, I'm going to here try and point my armor to the front. Oh, that's not good. There we go. We were able to get that guy. Although I think, if I'm not wrong, there may be something... Uh, on the C point, so I'm gonna have to go look at that. And there we go, we hear it to our right now. Uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, sadly, that does not kill his uh, breach, which is a bit unfortunate. Right now, we're kind of in a situation where we both can't use our weapons, or I guess he can. I'm just gonna push him right over here. Uh, maybe I can use my 50 cal on him. Oh no, sadly, I can't exactly lower it but um yeah we're gonna kind of be in this really awkward situation there we go we were able to 50 cal him there and uh thankfully that did actually save us i don't know how i'm still alive 
I guess I'm uh, really, really lucky this game. Um, yeah, let's just go back onto the capture zone now so that uh, we get a bit of a faster reload and we're also on a bit more cover there as well. Oh, I do actually hear an enemy helicopter right here. Um, not the T-80. It's quite a good AA because uh, the NSVT does do quite a lot of damage but uh, only when you actually see the helicopter in question. Now, I think he's going to pop out right above here somewhere. Oh, there we go. We just saw it there. But uh, I think he's going around in that direction. Maybe he's a bit higher. Oh, no. Looks like he's been dealt with by my team now. All right. Well, I guess we can slowly make our way towards their spawn then. Never mind, he isn't actually dead. Uh, we saw him right there. I'm kind of going to sit here in the shadows of the buildings because there's also another plane up somewhere. There we go, we set him on fire there. We're going to quickly get behind the building here so that we don't get rocketed. Oh, I do hope he doesn't make it around the building here. That would be a bit disappointing for me. I may just pop some smoke. Ooh, okay, that's not good. Uh, now our machine gun is damaged. But, um... Yeah, well, at least we're alive. Sadly, even if I did set him on fire there, it didn't actually do enough to kill him. Which uh, is unfortunate. There we go, we've gotten a critical hit now. And uh, finally, I guess we only get an assist. Well, that's fine. Uh, in the end, uh... Our team is still doing fairly well. And I think we'll be able to win this game relatively easily. There we go. We hear a tank right behind us right now. I'm going to uh, quickly turn my tank around here. Although it sounds like he may not be the only one here. There we go. Let's make him think he's safe. And uh, oh, that doesn't kill his transmission. Okay, well... That's fine. I think I have bigger issues to deal with here. Uh, most importantly, the uh, T... not T. The uh, Leopard or whatever. That's behind me. Oh, no. I guess we just get cast. That That's that's fine as well. Um, you know, I guess I'll uh, spawn in this PA here. But I'll probably just cut to the next game now since this game is, uh, yeah, basically over. Alright, for our second battle here, we are on Advance to the Rhine. Now, this map here, you know, it's uh, a bit too small for top tier in my opinion, but hey, uh, we don't get to choose what maps we play on. Um, you know, a lot of people here to the right of me, uh, well, maybe not a lot, but there's at least one there. There's one here in front of me, which I should probably look at more. But, uh, yeah, no, right now there are way too many things to deal with, and I don't know which one to pick. But uh, we should probably decide on one sooner or later. I think I'm going to try and go after this guy right here. Uh, so, uh, uh, uh. Okay, yep, I just hit his ammunition there, but it didn't set it off. That's uh, fine. Um, yeah, I guess uh, German ammunition is so strong that it doesn't even cut off when it hits. That's fine. Uh, we'll just uh, move around here. And uh, he seems to be a bit distracted now. Maybe, maybe not. Hopefully I'm lucky. There we go. Uh, he's getting lit up by a friendly uh, player here, so he should be a bit distracted. There we go. He shot around now as well. So, uh, yeah, I think we are definitely in the green. We're pushing up behind him. All right, there seems to be quite a few number of tanks uh, here in front of us. Looks like there's an XM1 right there. There we go, he stopped so that I can shoot him easier. The round there does not spawn. That is a bit unfortunate. Um, there we go, I did read his breach, so... Uh, you know, he couldn't really shoot his gun there, luckily. Um, seems to be a wheeled vehicle here on B. We could go try and deal with that. Uh, looks like it's getting shot, though, so I might not make it on time. But, you know, we'll always try. Uh, let's see where he is. There we go. I didn't actually see him there. I think I saw him. Well, I saw him a bit, but yeah, whatever. I just kind of estimated where he was from the uh, engine noise. Anyway, let's get behind this tram here and uh, yeah, capture the zone. 
All right, well, as expected, there are a couple tanks here in their spawn. I mean, who would have thought? Uh, the enemy team still has... I guess they don't have that many people left anymore. Uh, let's just push this corner here. Because uh, that gives us another kill. Okay, we hear another light tank here to the left. I don't know what that was. Um, let's see, where can he be? I'm so stupid. Uh, what was that? Okay, I'm just really bad at the game right now. Uh, please hold. There we go. Um, I wonder what killed my engine, though. Uh, whatever. Probably isn't anything too important. Alright, well, I guess in the end there, uh, nothing too special will happen in this game. We only really got five kills, but then again, uh, that uh, is still enough to get the Survivor Award. Anyway, let's go to the next battle now. Alright, for our third battle here, hopefully we'll see a bit more action as per usual on this map uh, on Seversk 13. I just kind of hold the uh, W key in between B and C here to uh, kind of get behind, well not really behind, but at least beside the enemy team when they push towards the C point. Now uh, I usually always do this trap because it works most of the time, you know, your allies cover what's happening behind you and you have to deal with whatever's or what's in front and as long as both of those go alright, well then uh, you usually, for the most part, survive the rest of the game. Now uh, here I'm just going to of course look around this corner, sometimes you do see a couple speedy tanks, like there. Um, but uh, yeah, in general there aren't too many people here who first cross this corner. But uh, yeah, I guess these people are feeling really optimistic today. And unfortunately for them, you know, um, I am uh, happen to be looking over there. Seems to be a tank here behind me though, so I'm going to pop smoke and uh, go deal with that instead. Although it looks like our allies, just like I said, uh, we're actually doing a really good job. So maybe I don't have to do that. Ooh, we see a challenger there. Um, I guess that's a challenger 2E maybe. Although it looks like... Uh, he has since died now, and I was wrong, that was not a Challenger 2E. I think there's just another Leopard here in front of me, so I'm probably gonna have to deal with that. There we go, we got his barrel. Um, really funny. Uh, you know, usually, uh, I guess you don't really think of doing that, but you, maybe you should because it's quite an easy way of getting a kill. Uh, unfortunately, they're only spalled enough to kill his engine, but you know, we can just go around here. Shoot him in the side, and that does give us another kill. Looks like there's someone on B though, so we do have to, uh, oh we don't really have to do anything, but we should probably go uh, deal with that. I'm gonna have this BVM there, be my bait, or at least be my spotter. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully it will be able to help me out. Is that a tank barrel? No that isn't, but uh, I should definitely pay attention here. Do I hear someone to the right? That might be an ally, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to try and get onto the point round. There we go. The tank here has shot. So we are just going to... Oh, I got his breach though, so we're good. Um, yep, there we go. Let's just aim towards that munition. And there we go. That is another kill for us. And now we can safely capture the zone. I guess this TD UK here is broken off as repair to uh, come capture the zone here, which is fine. You know, I'll help him repair uh, once he gets on here. It looks like that BVM right there is actually getting shot from somewhere. We have the Americans on our team, so it's probably somewhere to the left, yeah. Uh, sadly, I can't really help him. I mean, I could try, but uh, no guarantees is all I'm going to say. But sadly, I don't really have thermal, so I can't see anything. And the concrete here, the bushes, really aren't helping me either. Oh, that's bad. Uh, sadly, they're Type 90. Uh, better reaction time than me and uh, he might kill me if I'm not careful. It looks like our teammate here is uh, dealing with him quite nicely though or at least he's keeping him uh, yeah, at bay here so I'm gonna pop smoke and repair. Now we do hear a ZTZ here right behind us. Hopefully he just doesn't know that I exist. That'd be nice. Oh, that's unfortunate. I sadly missed the shell there. And I can't really see him. So, um... Yeah, that is a bit unfortunate. 
Oh, that's such a bad shell. Well, let's just get behind cover here. Hopefully not get shot. There we go. And uh, we did surprisingly enough survive that encounter. I think that Type 90 there, though, is still alive. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, a tank there just went to the right. I think my Abrams friend here also saw that happen. I'm gonna, you know, try and deal with that. Uh, looks like he just continued to hold W key here. Which is a, quite an interesting thing to do. Um, there we go. I got his fuel tank, which unfortunately is not really a lot. Uh, yeah, I guess spalling these days isn't really up to standard. Uh, yeah, no, that guy's just looking right behind this corner. So uh, there's no real point of pushing that because that will just end, uh, end up in me exploding. So instead, let's just... Uh, Oh, it's not pushed that. There we go. Does he have FPE? No, he doesn't. Okay. Um, well, at least he hasn't extinguished his fire. I'm not sure if he actually doesn't have FPE, but, uh, you know. Okay, I'm bad at this game. But, um, yeah. I think we already kind of knew that. Uh, okay. Um... Yeah, uh, everything's everything's okay. Everything's okay. And what, what, what's everyone talking about? All right, there seems to be a warrior here on the sea pawn. He's probably going to last a total of five seconds from now. Let's just count it down: five, four. Up oh, there he goes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it looks like we can just get ourselves a free capture zone now because he did uh, decap the zone for us, which does give us a bit more extra RP. Alright, well in the end there we only got like 6 kills, which you know what, isn't exactly like an exceptional result, but it's good enough. And uh, yeah, hopefully you did learn in at least one or two things from uh, this video here, mostly to not just rush enemies and shoot randomly. Uh, you should take your time a bit more. Anyway, um, that does it for this video. Maybe I'll revisit this tank once I get more modifications on it. But yeah, that does it for me today, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.